Hello friends, uh, this is your friend Professor Iqbal here and once again I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel My Grammar Classes. In this episode of lecture, specifically we will discuss direct and indirect speech. Now we might have come across this direct and indirect speech most of the time in English grammar. Now let us try to understand how to change a direct speech into indirect speech. As far as direct speech is concerned, these are the words said by the speaker as it is without a modifying anything. So these are the explicit meaning which is conveyed by speaker without any further interaction. And indirect speech is uh, the speaker's point of view is over here and it is the listener's point of view here. In indirect speech, the meaning is conveyed by somebody else to another person. For example, let us understand there are three boys A, B and C. Okay. So consider A as a speaker and C as a listener. So what happens in case of A, B, C, A, whatever A says is conveyed to the audience B and C. And now when B says what A says to C, this becomes indirect speech. Okay. Through a medium it is conveyed to someone else. Now let us understand what actually it happens and what are the rules. Now when we are talking about reported speech or indirect speech, we need to understand that what are the rules. There are different rules which convey the message of changing a, a direct speech into indirect speech. Now what are those rules? Let us understand. The first rule is about the change of time. Now here that is about change. Now what is actually there? See if the reported verb if the reported verb is in the past tense then only there will be change if the reported verb is in the past tense then only there will be change in the reported speech if the reported verb is not in the past tense then there will not be any change in the reported speech now what does this mean let us understand he said i come to college he said i come to college now here the reported verb said is in the past tense and then the reported speech will change. He said, I come to college here. This will be changed into indirect speech like this. He said, he came to college. He said he came to college. Now, so when it comes to tense, let us understand which changes can occur when it comes to tense. First important thing is, all the sentences which are in the present tense will be changed into past tense. Now whatever is in the present tense will be changed into past tense and whatever is in the past tense will further be changed into past into past. Now what is the meaning of that let us understand. Simple present tense will be changed into simple past tense. Okay. Simple present tense will be changed into simple past tense. Present continuous tense will be changed into past continuous tense. Present perfect tense will be changed into past perfect continuous tense. Okay. And present perfect continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous further. And then when simple past tense is concerned, then it will be changed into past perfect tense. Past continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous tense. Okay. And past perfect and past perfect continuous tense, this uh, will not be changed at all. So they remain same. There will not be any change in case of past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense. Now, what happens in case of modal verbs? Let us understand. Will will be changed into would can will be changed into could, shall will be changed into should. Okay, now let us understand all these things one by one with some examples. Now as I said you, simple present tense will be changed into simple past tense. He said children like chocolate. He said children like chocolate. This is an example. Now how it can be changed into past tense, let us understand. He said that is optional here. He said that is optional so you can have it or it depends on you whether to have or not to have he said children liked chocolate she said i go there she said she went there now what happens in case of present continuous tense okay she said i am playing this will be changed into indirect speech like this she said that she was playing he said i am writing a letter he said, I am writing a letter. This will be changed into direct speech like this. He said that he was writing a letter. Good clear idea? Now these are the changes which can occur as far as tense is concerned. Now let us take one more example of present perfect tense. He said, I have written a letter. This will be changed into indirect speech like this. He said that he had written a letter. 
He said he had written a letter. Then she said I sent a book. She said that she had sent a book. Got a clear idea? So this is what happens in present tense everything will be changed into past and in past further it will be taken into past into past. Okay. Now let us go to further with some exercise.